Welcome to the most passionate content for card collectors on YouTube and possibly the whole entire internet. As usual, I am your host, Jake Roy, 90s B-Ball Cards here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and sometimes even a little bit of TikTok. All right, so we are closing out season three. We are getting ready to start season four. I am really excited. And of course, we have to close out the season the right way and bust open some packs. And this is a little bit of a mystery box opening. I'm not sure exactly what packs we're gonna have inside and what loose cards or whatnot might be in there as well. So really excited to bust into this mystery with you. Let's jump right into it. All right, so today we've got two boxes, uh, small, kind of on the same par with blaster boxes. But these are things that you would normally find at retail settings, kind of a Fairfield product uh, that this day and age you just can't find <laughs> anywhere. I mean, finding retail product in general right now is next to impossible. Uh, lots of times you see signs like these on uh, the shelves of Target saying that they're going to have a specific designated time that you can come and get the packs and if you can't make it at that time you're out of luck or sometimes you'll see other listing or other uh signage saying that they're limiting just one per customer or two per customer or three per customer uh you know so retail is uh a wild scene right now <laughs> so these are a relic from the past i mean back when these came out back in the 2016 2017 range uh these would sell for about eight or nine dollars a piece uh, which I'm sure today they would go for a lot more if you could even find them on the shelves. But uh, so what I'm expecting in these are some packs of stuff like threads in Donruss from 2016, 2017, 2015, maybe even. Um, and then there should be some loose cards inside. We might have some 90s fire inside of with those loose cards. So lots of stuff. And you never know what you might pull in these packs. I mean, we'll bust in, see what packs we have, talk about what we could pull. But I'm expecting to really be looking at some rookies, uh, some parallels, maybe a few autographs or potential hits for these. Really excited. Uh, there could be a lot of fire in here. No telling. So let's get right into it. And I almost forgot. <laughs> so stay tuned to the end. We'll talk a little bit about plans for season four in next week's video to kick off season four in the right way. So stay tuned to the end and we'll talk more about that as well. Now let's really get into the cards. All right, here we've got the two boxes. So the packs you can see uh, one on either side. So the same on each of the packs. We've got threads here and we've got Donruss there. It looks like 15 and 16 for both. Donruss and then threads again. Same stuff there, so let's open these up and take all the packs out. All right, so here we've got the packs. It looks like all the same packs. We've got 15, 16 Donruss. We've got four of those packs. We also have 16, 17 Complete. Not my favorite product. I call it Complete Trash, or sometimes I use another word. Uh, and then <laughs> we've got 15, 16 Threads. So I think 15, 16, we're looking at Devin Booker as one of the main rookies. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, uh, Porzingis, I think uh, Nikola Jocic is in there as well. 16, 17, I believe that is Ben Simmons' rookie year. So those are some of the guys. We've also got some of these teammates. Uh, I think these are like little toys. Let's, let's open these up. These will be fun for the kids, I think. All right, a couple of puzzle pieces here. Uh, a little bit of like maybe a checklist or something. Interesting one came in a plastic bag. So each one has a different team. This one's the Kings and this one is the Heat. All right, here we've got the Clippers. Oh, there go the puzzle pieces and uh, Cavaliers. All right, so that's what we got for those little guys move these off to the side, get 
get the scissors out of the way. So this is where the loose cards should be. So let's start with those and get into the packs last. You know, I'm expecting a lot of junk wax, 90s stuff, but sometimes the things that were considered junk wax five years ago aren't so much junk wax anymore. So we could see a base Jordan here, something uh, that might actually be uh, worthwhile, but I'm gonna buzz through these. Hey, there we go with the Larry Bird. I mean, it's Prime Junk Wax 91, 92 upper deck like the rest of these so far, but at least uh, a great player. Oh, yes, checklists. Alfonso Ellis rookie. I don't know if that warrants put in aside, but why not? Kendall Gill. Alex English, very nice. Checklists. Oh, that's not checklist. That's All Star Bernard King. Larry Johnson, not bad. Cedric Sabalas, Dunk. Like that Larry Johnson hologram. I'll put that aside. That's a cool one. <laughs> a newer card, but Devin George. So not a junk wax though. Hey, <laughs> I got excited seeing the back of that uh, Thaddeus Young rookie. That is the same year 07 08 tops that we could have had be Kevin Durant. Oh, that's a nice Rodman. Team Skybox. Okay. Not all terrible. Not all junk wax for that first one. Oh, I see something shiny. That's always nice. Amanu. Upper Deck ESPN. Oh, okay. <laughs> EX, very nice set. Matt Harpering, not my favorite player. Not fun memories with the Magic, let's put it that way. Silver Signature. Ooh, there we go with an MJ. Like I said, you could find some stuff in here. Consider junk, not anymore. MJ's always hot. I mean, 92, 93 tops, if we get a shack in here, that's a big money card now. It's pretty cheap back then. Hey, there you go. That's a rookie of Michael Olwakin. He was the number one pick, uh, but one of the bigger busts. Interesting here, Darren O'Shea Blaylock. Mookie Blaylock, you probably know him better as Mookie than Darren. Nick Anderson, I think that's a rookie of Nick. Like a Brickakowski. No, that's not him. It's a different one. There we go with the WNBA checklist. Here we go, my friend Todd Day. Every NBA fan knows him. There we go, love that Baron Davis. Let's not drop those. I'll put that aside, side PC, right? All right. Got a few fun ones. Um, I'm gonna put this common pile aside. I'm sure we'll get plenty more commons. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know why I'm putting checklists aside, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, we'll start with complete. I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this. All right, Dwit, not my guy. Don't like him. 
<laughs> Jeremy Lamb. We've got uh, Bogdanovich, John Wall, very nice. And then here's the parallel of Gerald Martin, Jarrell Martin. Hey, that is not a bad rookie at all. Malcolm Brogdon. I'll put that one aside. Better than LaFonso, anyway. Larry Nance. Terrence Jones, I was a big fan of him in college. Barbosa. And the parallel of Taj Gibson. I think I will... Let's leave the threads till last. Uh, let's go with the 15-16 Don Ross. Uh, if we remember, this is one year before Optics, so Donruss was, uh, you know, uh, standing by itself. I think this would have been a really cool design to see in Optic, but uh, anyway, looking for some rookies here. Alfred Payton, Narlins Noel, Blake Griffin, nice picture there. Uh, this is a rookie, Boban, very nice. I like that kind of retro look on there. Kenneth Fareed, I liked him. Dame da Dollar, love that. I'm going to put him with the stars. Jimmy Butler, big fan. And Jarrett Jack. All right, not bad. Good rookie. Jabari Parker, another bust from Duke, but I liked him. Oh, I see something shiny. We're looking for parallels here, numbered parallels specifically. Gerald Green, I liked him with the Celtics. Dwayne Wade, and who do we have here? Okay, numbered to 199, Boogie Cousins. That is a nice one, uh, not a low numbered parallel, uh, so probably not worth a whole bunch, but that's definitely fun. Uh, we could see more. Cody Zeller, Zeller again, that's Tyler Zeller, brothers, David Lee, and Brooke Lopez. All right, two more Donruss. All right, another Narlins Noel, Zach Randolph, another Blake Griffin, Here's a rated rookie, Raul Nato, not the name we're looking for, Thaddeus Young, we've seen him before, Terrence Ross, James Harden, I'll put him aside I guess, and Jeremy Lin, my wife likes him, but only with the other teams. Alright, Channing Fry with the Magic, Alex Len. We got a Draymond. I'll put that aside for my wife, I think. Here we go. Is this an insert? It looks like it. Kevin Love rebounding Kings. All right. Uh, let's put that over there. Oh, Kobe. Very nice. Would have loved to have seen a parallel on that one. Isaiah, JJ Barea, and Ryan Anderson. All right. Two packs of the threads. These have those cool, like, jersey cutout die cuts. Uh, I think it's the next year that had the autographs, but uh, we'll see. We could get rookies also. All right, Roy Hibbert, when he was with the Lakers. I liked him coming out of college. Hassan Whiteside, doing well with centers. Gary Harris, just got traded. Russell Westbrook, love me some Russ. I'll put that aside, I guess. Darren Collison, like him. Another Jeremy Lin. But unfortunately, he's with the Hornets. All right, there we go with a Threads throwback floor generals of Gary Payton. I believe that's an insert. Might be a subset. Not sure. Uh, let's see. Another Jabari Parker. Doing well with him. Al Farouk Mino. And a Drew Holiday. Also a fan of Drew Holiday. All right, last pack. Let's hope we get some parallel fire. All right, something in here seems a little bit thicker, so maybe we have a nice hit. Uh, we will go slowly through and see what we got, but uh, another one of Dwit. We'll get Jordan Hill, we'll get another Russ. We'll give that one to the kids. Julius Randle with the Lakers. Oh, we're coming up to what I think might be the hit. Paul Millsap and, okay, a rookie threads. This, I think, is an insert of Jalil Okafor. I think, yeah, that was the thicker card that I was seeing. Um, not sure if that's how all the rookies look, or uh, what the exact situation was. This Joel before I was hoping would have been good coming out of Duke, but uh, that would not be the case. Precious players, Jabari, uh, yeah, Jimmy Butler. Uh, is this one an insert? It might be. I'm not positive though. Uh, all right, we got Otto Porter. Uh, not familiar. Sasha Vujicic, I think, and Kyle Korver. 
All right, nothing to get too excited about. You know, getting a Jordan, getting that nice parallel of Boogie Cousins, uh, getting some rookies like the Brogdon, uh, the Okafor. You know, nothing to really write home about, nothing to get too, too jazzed up about. Uh, don't know the ROI back in the day on these. Probably, you know, about uh, even, maybe. Uh, it's, it's really hard to tell, uh, but lots of fun. That was really what we were looking to do, is have some fun to close out Season 3. Like I said, Season 4, some exciting stuff coming up, and like we have made into our tradition to kick off Season 4, we're going to start the season with a Q&A. So, question of the day for you is, what questions do you have for me? Drop those down in the comments, DM them to me. I'll put some posts out on social media as well, looking to curate Q&A. Uh, so we will try to get to every question. Last year, I was able to get to most, not every single question. So drop those comments early, and I will be sure to get those into the hat for the Q&A. And that's what we're going to do for next week's video to kick off season four. So that's what I can use your help with. Uh, the other thing is I'm looking to do some other players for top 10 parts of my PC. Obviously, getting a little bit more fringe in my PC. Uh, but let me know if there's any requests or suggestions, players that you think would be fun to see a uh, PC rundown of. And uh, as the weeks go on, I'll throw out some polls as I get as I narrow it down to a couple players each time and ask for your input on which player or players I should look into doing. So drop that down as well. Coming up, I will also have my top 10 most valuable, kind of a re-look at that in my PC. So that's something fun to look at over the years and it's definitely changed significantly. And the most valuable card in my collection right now while I'm filming it might not even be in my collection by the time that we film that top 10. So that's a little sneak peek of something and we will share the details of that in that video as well. Even if it's not in my collection, we'll talk about it. So lots of fun stuff coming up for season four. I am really excited four years of sharing this great hobby and passion with you. It has been a blast. I have no intentions of stopping anytime soon. In fact, adding the podcast is only going to add to all the fun we can have together. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New videos like this will always drop on Wednesdays. Any bonus content will drop on Friday. Thanks. We'll talk later.